Okay, so let's look at how we can set a hotkey. So we just go to Edit, Preferences. Then we want to go to Key Map. And let's type in Loop. So we're going to find Loop Selected. I already had this rolled out, so it might look like this. But you want to roll it out. And I'm going to turn off Shift and Alt. And then I'm going to change this to Double Click. And then turn off Toggle Select. Uh, now I can just double click on an edge to Loop Select. And I think this is a little bit faster. I'm also going to set a hotkey from the interface here. So I'm going to go to this mark seam. I'm going to say assign shortcut. And, and then you can press your shortcut uh, that you want. So in this case, I did shift tab. And then I'll do it again. And this time I'm going to do control tab. Um, so I can mark seam or clear seam for my UVs uh, just by double clicking and then hitting shift tab. So when you go to change your hotkeys, sometimes you can write over hotkeys that you might actually want. And to make sure that you don't do that, you can come up to key binding in your key mapping and then just hit the letter that's going to be associated with it. Like if I hit A, then anything that has uh, A associated with it will pop up in here. Uh, obviously, you can see there's a lot here. But what I did is I hit tab and nothing came up. And so I knew I can do something like control tab or shift tab to set my uh, high keys there. Um, but yeah, you can just go through and check any keystroke that you want. Um, I wouldn't be too insecure about getting rid of something as long as it's not something you use all the time. Um, but you have to get a little bit familiar with Blender before you start assigning hotkeys that uh, you might use all the time. So these are ones that I set up that uh, don't mess with anything else so you can be sure that they'll be fine to use. Thanks for watching.